It's Friday the 13th Eve, and the world is about to burn. Hospitals across Britain flatline. Not the patients, the computers. Surgery stopped mid-operation. Ambulances circling with nowhere to go. People dying because screens won't turn on. Then it explodes. Four hours, 200,000 computers. 150 countries. Obliterated. FedEx, down. Renault, paralyzed. Germany's entire rail system, chaos. And then you see it, a blood-red screen with a ticking clock. Pay us $300 in Bitcoin or everything you have is gone forever. This is WannaCry, and it's spreading faster than anything we've ever seen. But the nightmare gets worse. This weapon? It was built by the NS, America's own spy agency. Stolen. Sold then unleashed by North Korean hackers to fund a regime. The world is collapsing, billions in damages, total panic, until a 22-year-old kid in his pajamas, sitting in his bedroom, spots something weird in the code, a domain name, unregistered. He pays 10 bucks, clicks enter, and the entire global attack just stops. He accidentally hit the off switch. $10 saved four billion in damages, but here's what terrifies me. We got lucky. Next time, there might not be a kill switch. Subscribe for more Cyber Threat series.